Apollo, the great god of the sun, was credited for pulling the sun across the sky each day. He was a skilled archer and musician, and had a strong sense of right and wrong. Apollo was believed to always speak the truth, and was the god of prophecy. Of Zeus's sons, Apollo was his favorite. Most often associated with the lyre he played music on, and the gold chariot pulled by swans that help him carry the sun. He and his twin sister Artemis were born unto Leto, a titan goddess. During her pregnancy, Leto was followed and harassed by a giant snake known as Python. At four days of age, Apollo took his silver bow and arrow he received from his father and killed Python. Fortunately, Python was an oracle, and Zeus was displeased with this. To make amends, Apollo convinced the priestess who had interpreted Python to teach him prophecy. Zeus still believed he should be punished, and so Apollo was exiled to earth to live as a mortal for one year. Apollo had many loves, but his first love is the most well-known. Eros, also known as Cupid, was playing with Apollo's silver arrows. Apollo told him to stop and put them down, but Eros shot him with one of his arrows dipped in a potion, making Apollo fall in love with the first person he saw. The daughter of a river god walked past, and Apollo fell in love. Eros, being mischievous, shot Daphne with an arrow that made her find love revolting. Daphne ran away from Apollo, frightened because of his love. Daphne begged Mother Earth to either kill or change her so she could avoid love, and almost instantaneously, Mother Earth changed her into a laurel tree. Apollo was heartbroken and used leaves from her tree to make a laurel wreath, swearing she would live on forever. Apollo also loved Cyrene, who bore him a son, Aristarius, Hecuba, a mortal who gave birth to Trollius, Cassandra, daughter of Hecuba and Priam. He also loved Coronis, who gave birth to his son, Asclepius. Apollo was also attracted to Hyacinthus, a Spartan prince. Another god became jealous of the two, and while they were throwing discus, he caused Hyacinthus to be hit by one. Apollo grieved and made Hyacinth's bloom where his blood had fallen. His lover was Cyparasus. Apollo gave him a deer as a token, and Cyparasus loved it. Unfortunately, he accidentally shot it with a javelin, and Cyparasus asked Apollo to allow his tears to fall on the earth forever. Apollo transformed him into a cypress tree, whose sap looks like tears. Apollo was also known to be extremely violent. He became exceedingly angry if anyone insulted or hurt his mother. He was extremely angered at Niobe, who was taunting his mother because she had only given birth to two children, while Niobe had given birth to fourteen. Apollo and Artemis then sought out Niobe's children and killed them. Niobe grieved and cried for so long that she was transformed into a stone pillar. Apollo was also very proud of his musical talent. He was once challenged to a musical competition by his satyr, a half-man, half-goat. After he had won the competition, he had the satyr skinned for having the arrogance to challenge him. The Greeks worshipped Apollo, especially in Delphi, where he had defeated Python. Every four years in Delphi, Pythian games were held in his honor. A song called Epeian was dedicated to him. He was also god of colonization and was believed to have led the Cretans or Arcadians to the founding of Troy.